Integrative medicine is an interesting story. It started out as alternative medicine, complementary medicine. Um, I guess at this point, integrative medicine is probably the best way to describe this, which in, it means actually to pull together many different disciplines into a, a more organized umbrella. And so it contains, uh, call it traditional medicine, which is what I am. I am a physician, I'm board certified in internal medicine, I'm board certified in geriatric medicine, and there's a new board now of uh, integrative medicine. And so what we try to do, we try to organize this is and look at it from a professional and scientific uh, standpoint. If you, for instance, look at our center, we have an oriental medicine division, and so that will show you the acupuncture, it'll show you how things are done, maybe in China or in India, Ayurvedic medicine and that. Then we have a nutritional um, department in which we basically see and look how food, diets, supplements uh, interact with the health of the patient. Then we have a strong um, intravenous department where we do nutritional IVs in case that they are needed because many times you know people's guts are not functioning properly and the intravenous route is very advantageous. Um, then we have a um, so if you call it hormonal health program in which we help people go through these very complicated <laughs> hormonal issues uh, and there's a lot of controversy and um, we help people uh, do uh, the best combination between um, what we know about science and the best clinical decision making at the time. Uh, then we have a psychology slash brain health uh, connection where we tie in the, the software with the hardware I call it. So where we teach people how to be mindful, we teach people how to sort of coordinate the software and the hardware so that they have a better uh, outcome. In certain occasions, like in our center, I think the time has passed. We now uh, cooperate with a lot of physicians, because um, we are physicians, and um, all of us bring together um, our, our clinical experiences, uh, which in the end form what a doctor is, because um, I call myself now a wait a minute doctor. Because I can say after 20 some years in practice, I can say wait a minute this doesn't seem right. Or, you know, when you're a medical student or a, or a resident, you can't say that. You have to do what you have to do. But as life teaches you lessons, um, you end up believing what you saw happen, right? So, um, for a variety of reasons, um, there are areas of medicine that are understudied, underfunded, and so we sort of champion that, and we try to do studies through philanthropy, through grants, where um, the scientific data needs help. And so, because truly the data is the gospel. We find, by doing this, we find that we have um, widened our participation with the, with the general medical community because a lot of these doctors actually, they send us patients and then they see the results. It's confusing. Um, we have arrived at this integrative medicine um, definition. There is an integrative medicine board. There is an integrative. There are various integrative medicine societies. Um, there are actually a board certification now being sought um, at a level of the American Board of Medical Specialties, with a two-year fellowship type of program. So things are forming, but it still varies a lot center to center, you know, most of the time you'll see uh, nutritional components like we, we have, you'll see oriental medicine type of things with acupuncture, then you'll see physical modalities like it could be massage and you know, and things like that. And so I guess if somebody's interested, they have to look at what, what a, any particular site will, will offer. The internet is gigantic. Um, the people go, they go to the internet and um, sometimes we get results, sometimes we're not so good results, unfortunately. 
There are some reputable organizations um, that are working also with the government. Uh, there are some attempts to teach this in medical schools um, and to find a format. They do, uh, the stories are incredible. From a search on the internet, from a, re a relative of one of our patients, from an ancillary medical pr provider, it could be an acupuncturist or a chiropractor, uh, other physicians now. It would have to become formalized, I believe, first to, to have, say, a department of integrative medicine, maybe a school. Uh, certainly there are centers. Um, and then um, I think that as the data comes out, as the studies are done, and as the, it, it gets codified, then it can certainly be, the knowledge can be transferred into other aspects of, of practice of medicine.